I couldn't sleep, so I went ahead and I watched all those videos. Yeah, all 53 minutes worth, just to refresh my mind and see if, um, if it all made sense, and it did, so I went ahead and worked through. And um, the only change I made here was to add an extra layer. I merged up top, and for this one, I changed it to multiply. These are the settings I used. Notice that these numbers are different, and um, I lowered the draw lines just to see what would happen. And then I tried it again with some different settings, and up here I merged and used color burn in order to add a little bit more density and um, used these settings where I did turn this on and change these two numbers. Um, <clears throat> I don't particularly like this result. Well, I like this, but I would like to see some of this changed. A um, little combination of the two. Um, so this is just experimentation and proving that these steps actually do work. The creative crop plays a big part in what you get your final result. You know, do you want the whole thing or do you want just a piece of it? And then opening up this in Photoshop, um, fairly large, and then cropping down so that you can see that this image, if I pull up the image size dialog box, is 20, almost 2,800 pixels. So, um, not small, not all that big, but gives us plenty of room to work. There you go. I put my money where my mouth is. Now it's up to you to have some fun and make some stuff happen, huh?